Hello all. In this video we will talk about the Kingdom of Heaven, a phrase used in the New Testament and predominantly found in the Gospel of Matthew. In some translations or interpretations, it might be rendered as Kingdom of God. The term Kingdom of Heaven is believed to convey a similar concept to Kingdom of God. I have invited the infamous theologist Mr. Chris Goddard and I will ask him a few questions in hope of getting some rare and inspiring answers. Hi Mr. Goddard, thank you for accepting my invitation. I have a very important question to ask you and I want your sincere answer. And the question is, what did Jesus meant when he spoke about the Kingdom of Heaven? Thank you for the invitation Laz. In my opinion the Kingdom of Heaven refers to another planet in another solar system, one interpretation could be that Jesus was speaking metaphorically about a distant celestial realm beyond Earth, where a divine civilization or heavenly society exists. In this interpretation, the Kingdom of Heaven represents a utopian world where divine principles govern and where individuals live in harmony and spiritual enlightenment. It's seen as a realm of higher consciousness, purity, and divine presence, where beings experience ultimate fulfillment in unity with the Creator. So, when Jesus spoke of the Kingdom of Heaven, he could have been referring to this celestial realm as the ultimate destination for those who follow his teachings and embody spiritual truths. Yes, it makes sense that he meant another planet solar system realm, because back where he lived, people at least most of them didn't have knowledge of what stars are, how far they are and that they have planetary systems around them. So, Jesus might have spoken with simple words so that average people would understand. And yes when we look at the heaven at night we see stars. Exactly, the understanding of the cosmos during Jesus' time was quite different from our modern scientific knowledge. His teachings often used metaphorical language and imagery that resonated with the people of his time. The concept of a distant celestial realm or another planet beyond the stars could have been a way for him to convey spiritual truths in a relatable manner. It's fascinating how interpretations of ancient texts can evolve with our expanding understanding of the universe. Last question, what did Jesus meant by saying, let children come to me because it is them who will inherit the kingdom of heaven? If we view the kingdom of heaven as another celestial realm or utopian society, Jesus' statement about letting children come to him because they will inherit the kingdom of heaven takes on a profound significance. Children are often seen as symbols of innocence, purity, and openness. They possess a natural curiosity and a capacity for wonder that can be lost as people grow older and become entangled in the complexities of life. In this context, Jesus may have been emphasizing the importance of maintaining a childlike faith and openness to spiritual truths. By inviting children to come to him, he was highlighting the importance of humility, simplicity, and receptivity in experiencing the divine realm. Children, with their unblemished hearts and untainted minds, are seen as prime inheritors of the Kingdom of Heaven because they embody the qualities necessary to fully embrace its principles of love, compassion, and spiritual enlightenment. Thus, Jesus' words serve as a reminder to approach spirituality with the innocence and purity of a child, ready to receive the blessings of the Divine Realm. Thanks so much sir, it was an enlightening conversation. Hope to talk to you again in the future. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could provide some insight. Feel free to reach out anytime you have more questions. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to our next conversation. Okay, so, this is Lazarus from Greece, hope you like this video, if so, please like and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe! Stay safe! Stay safe! Stay safe.